Hi Larry, Spencer from Proud Mercedes in Scarborough, Maine. Um, wanted to put together a video tour of the GLB that we looked at today, um, only just a little while ago. But I know you wanted to show your wife, maybe this will be a little bit more descriptive than some photos, even though I understand they came out pretty good. Um, so again, wanted to put together the video tour. We'll start with the exterior. Um, a beautiful mountain gray metallic, I think pretty similar to the GLK, but the brand new GLB gives us that more square kind of boxy look. Um, it's a really nice, a uh, new uh, model to the lineup of Mercedes-Benz SUVs. LED headlights up front, parking sensors, fog lights down on the bottom there. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous car. That, that new kind of boxy shape, uh, really similar to the GLK. Um, Multi-spoke Mercedes-Benz wheels coming along the side of the vehicle. We have this nice kind of chrome uh, strip surrounding the window frame. This little bump here, a nice kind of accent line. Um, keyless entry around the vehicle. And coming around to the back, our GLB 250 and 4MATIC. That's our all-wheel drive system. Wrap around LED headlights. 4MATIC, that all-wheel drive. I know, again, similar to what you have in your vehicle now, a great, great feature. To open up the tailgate, you just press that button right there or use right your, from your key fob. Um, now, what we also talked about, this is our third row model. So for all intents and purposes now, our third row is lowered. But what's great is you don't sacrifice any storage space with the third row. And you can also fold down that second row for even more storage if you need it. So if you're not using the seats, they don't have to be there, but if, for an emergency situation or if you need an extra seat for someone driving, um, it's a great, great piece to have. The first of its kind in the compact SUV with a third row option. Moving along to the interior of the vehicle, nice automatic close there. We come to our rear seats. The second row provides plenty of leg room for your passengers while still leaving some for the third row as well. Um, that, that more kind of boxy square shape that the GLB um, kind of falls from the GLK with means there's a lot more space in the interior for uh, the people in it. Moving to the driver and passenger seat. I understand you were driving one of our courtesy vehicles, the GLE. Similar dashboard layout. You have that nice screen across the dash. Um, it's a much more modern and sleek interior. Mercedes-Benz has minimized all of, um, or not all of, but a decent amount of their button controls to the screen to make it easier to operate, but still not losing all of its tactile functions. Um, again, Larry, wanted to put this together for you, kind of show you ins and outs of the car. I know it will look really familiar. We looked at this exact model just a few hours ago. Um, happy to answer any questions you have. I know you have my info, but my cell phone number is 207-210-4796. I am available via email as well. My email is sro, that's S-R-O-E, at driveprime.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.